to talk from the terraces. This podcast is an update on the James Bannon podcast I did about 11 months ago. For those of you who don't know, James Bannon was a policeman who went in undercover to try and bring down Millwall's firm, The Treatment. James has taken part in a few podcasts and has also written a book called Running With The Firm. The book has also been made into a film called ID, which, in my opinion, is one of the better football films. We revisit when James went into Arsenal's North Bank. There's also footage of the film to match up what he's talking about. Roll V. Arsenal North Bank. As a Millwall supporter in the Arsenal North Bank, which is that home end. How did you end up in there? Just with the guy from the pub and 15 of the biggest fuckers I've ever seen, never seen before. And they went, come, you come with us. So I went with them and so did the sergeant. Then the sergeant bowled out. He went and left. So I was on the terraces with these 15 men and me and um, thinking, this is only going to end fucking one way. And they could tell I was absolutely, I was <coughs> nervous. No, but I suppose in the politest way of putting it, you know, it's 15 top blokes, me, surrounded by 8,000 Arsenal. And then they start singing No One Likes Us in the middle of the Arsenal North Bank. <laughs> and I'm like, singing No One Likes Us, and in my head I'm going, I'm going to fucking die here. And it just fucking, it just, the thing about football is it just, it, went, it had that eerie silence before everything fucking goes horribly wrong. So it just went completely silent, like completely fucking silent. And it just, everyone moved out. And um, the first geezer stepped forward and started coming towards me because I was the smallest. And the guy who was next to me, as he came towards me, steps in front of me and just went, Pfft. he just hit this geezer fucking squarely on the nose and he just went, bosh. Straight did a f almost did a fucking complete flip in the air and then just landed on his head on the concrete terrace. And everyone, all the Millwall boys, all of everyone just went, Ooh, I mean, he fucking proper clouted. And then it was like the crowd opened up and these two little guys scuttled out and grabbed him and dragged him back. And then the thing closed and then he just kicked the fuck off. Proper in the Arsenal way. And look what we can do. We we're in here and we've infiltrated you. And then it was fucking fight for your life to get to the pitch. Which is what I did. Just windmills. And the last thing you do in that scenario is go fucking down. You go down, you're fucked. <laughs> you have to do whatever you can to stay on your feet. Did you get respect from the more wall balls after well, I, got, that? I got onto the pitch um, and got arrested. And back then there were, I've said this in the park there were two there were two sorts of police officers that police football there was what i used to call the, the cake eaters so the big fat lazy fuckers who drive a desk in the week and work football on saturdays for the overtime and then there was the <clears throat> the tactical support group but who were more affectionately known as the thick and stupid group who just want to have a fucking fight so they get shields and battens and fucking helmets and want to charge at people and hit things so that's your mix of football. You've got the thick and stupid group and the cake eater. And I've got the cake eater. And instead of taking me behind the goal and down the tunnel, which is what he should have done this way, he went the wrong way and walked towards 10,000 mil. And he just his, group, his grip just lessened and lessened as we got closer and closer to the mill. We were going fucking mental. As we got led across, it all kicked off in the seats above me. There was a guy called Ginger Bob was up there and it all fucking went off. And um, <clears throat> he basically let go of me. And I just ran, dodged a couple of old bill and dived in the crowd. And that was it. So From then on, I was always known as the guy that fucking led the charge at fucking Arsenal and dived into the crowd. against this lot, we must be fucking mad. You'll be all right, mate. Just stand by me. It's 
still show some fucking robbers. So that was James Bannon uh, recalling his time he went undercover with Millwall into Arsenal's North Bank. Um, he did mention Ginger Bob, and Ginger Bob has been, as a few months ago, went on to the James English podcast, and uh, and many people questioned his numbers, as I would do with this video, saying 15 of them went into uh, Arsenal's bank, which holds 8,000. Um Please leave a comment, tell us what you think, and there'll be more videos coming from UK Casual soon.